Resetting a password in Firebase can often feel like a tedious and confusing process, especially for beginners unfamiliar with its interface and procedures. This video will guide you step by step through the entire process, making it much easier to understand and execute smoothly. Additionally, it explains common pitfalls and how to avoid them, saving you time and frustration. Watching this tutorial unlocks the full potential of Firebase's password reset feature, empowering you to manage users efficiently and enhance your app security with confidence. And if you want to learn more about Firebase Swift UI, go ahead and check out my mentoring sessions. The link is in the description and more on this later in the video. Now, this is the second part uh, of an ongoing tutorial series about Firebase. Uh, in the previous one, I have talked about how you can sign in with email and password. Go ahead and check out the link in the description for the whole playlist. And today we are going to take it from there. Uh, so make sure to check out uh, the previous one if you just landed over here to see how I set up uh, signing in and up with uh, email and password. Today we are going to take it even further. We are going to sign out and we are going to handle the use case of uh, basically forgetting our password. Okay, uh, just a heads up, uh, I have already created a, a Firebase uh, project for this and I am using uh, my very own GitHub repository, which is uh, github.com slash developer slash Firebase sign in with email and password. I know it's a mouthful, but indeed, uh, it says what it uh, does. So uh, this is the project that we uh, landed on. And basically what we already did is uh, we just entered our email and password and we just signed up. And from there on, uh, if, uh, you know, um, not a long time has passed, uh, your application will automatically log the user in. So that's why we see the hello world, which is the content view. It is not the authentication view, which is right over here. It is the content view. And just to double check, we have our user profile saved on our Firestore database with this uh, UID starting with WU. And under authentication, we have our uh, user, you know, just uh, uh, registered on the, uh, data, on the dashboard right over here. Okay, so next up would be to just sign out but uh, usually that's separated away inside some sort of a profile view. So let's just do that. Let's create a new uh, file from template, uh, Swift UI view. Let's have uh, that uh, as next and then just profile view. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's just have a tab view right over here and it should have let's some sort of a feed view and a profile view. We don't care about the feed view in this tutorial series, but uh, well, maybe we will when we are going to talk about uh, Firestore. Yeah, we are going to have that. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, create a feed view. There we go. Maybe you are going to create some posts or something like that. And then uh, grabbing the feed view and the profile view and putting them into a, a tab view. And we're going to do that on the content view. So let's remove all of this. Well, actually I can just remove everything and have a tab view. And uh, I don't care about the selection for now. It's just perfectly fine. I'm just going to go and have uh, our feed view and then our profile view. And then let's add uh, some tab items. So tab uh, item, there we go. And uh, I'm just going to have an image of system name. Let's just see what's, yeah, house is fine. That's great. And then under the profile view, another tab item, tab item. There we go, uh, with an image of system name and then person.circle, that's fine. So now let's see uh, what we got over here. We should basically be landing on the tab view and be presented the feed view. As an iOS dev, you hit Roblox. Bugs that won't budge, features that feel overwhelming, or just not knowing what to focus on next. That's where having a mentor makes all the difference. I've been through it all and in my Zoom mentoring sessions, I'll help you cut through the noise, fix what's holding you back 
and level up your skills fast. Whether you're just getting started or building your next big app, I'll guide you step by step with real advice that actually works. The link is down in the description. There we go. We have our, you know, hello world. And the, the feed view is being selected. Now, right over here on the profile view, I want to basically have, for now, just a sign up button, right? So let's just have, uh, let's just go to the profile view. Uh, I'm just going to create a list, why not? List or a form, a oh, better form, form. There we go. And then uh, let's just have a navigation title. Uh, yeah, I prefer the one with just a string value. And for the navigation title to be actually presented, we do need to uh, wrap our profile view inside a navigation stack. <clears throat> there we go. And let's add also the navigation stack wrapped around our feed view too. Okay, control I, and then we can just go back to the profile view and add that button. Let's just have one with the role, action, and label. The role should be destructive, action, uh, sign out. And then on the label, let's have a text of sign out. Let's copy that out and create a function for it. And uh, let's just print sign out for now. There we go. So let's build and run and see all of the changes are done. It's really great. Uh, build has succeeded, which is always a good sign. And then hello word, this is our feed view. And then here is our profile view. So if I just click on sign out, it's just going to print out sign out. Okay, but you know, I, indeed I do want to sign out. So again, I'm going to grab uh, our Oh, where is our environment? Yeah, I'm just going to copy that out and put it onto our profile view. Of course, I do need to import Firebase sign in with email and password, you know, the GitHub repository that I added as a fifth package uh, on into my project. And then I can just go right over here. And I believe this is a throwing function, if I remember correctly, we are going to add that later on. So Firebase sign in with uh, uh, email and password, and then just hit dot right over here. And then just select, you just go down or just type typing out, just sign out. Okay, let's just have sign out. And yeah, I believe that's it. No, nothing else to do, which is really great. And then let's just check it out. Build and run, build has succeeded and we are in. And if I click on sign out, it just signed me out and we are taken to our auth view. Uh, now I can just sign in again. And with this authenticate, go ahead and check out the previous uh, uh, video about how I manage this. It's all, all also like it's authenticating. It doesn't really matter if you already signed up or uh, you haven't. If you haven't signed up for uh, the uh, project, you know, the, the user haven't signed up, you are going to sign up. Otherwise, you are just going to sign in, which we are going to do right now because we already have a, a user. So let's uh, type that in and then the password. So the only drawback downside of this is that uh, if the user mistypes their email, then it's just going to create a brand new uh, user account for that. So yeah, you might want to use the one with the create and sign in if you choose to, but for this tutorial, it's just perfectly fine. So let's just go and authenticate and we're in. There we go. We have our profile and we have our feed. Really nice. But what if the user basically forgets their password. It happens and uh, they do need to reset their uh, password. So uh, what we're going to do is just have uh, a user to uh, an option to reset their password. So uh, let's just create a new uh, empty file from template and then Swift UI view. And uh, I'm going to call this reset password view. Uh, because in this case, so when a user is logged out and they can't remember their password, they can choose this option. 
or if they're already logged in, but they do want to change their password, then they can also use this reset password view. So let's start off uh, with the first scenario, and that is under the auth view. And let's have another button right over here. I'm going to make this <clears throat> uh, button style of border prominent, and let's have another button. Action and label, and then the text would be um, forgot password, okay, and then uh, reset password. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to have uh, this separate function. Basically, just going to show a simple sheet. And then let's have that state variable also at state private var is uh, a reset password view presented. Okay, reset. There we go. And then we are going to toggle that on our function. Uh, not toggle, toggle, just like that. Come on. There we go. And uh, let's set up our sheet too. So right over here, we are going to have a sheet with an is presented and then dollar sign is reset password you presented. And the content view would be our reset. Well, let's just wrap this inside our uh, navigation stack too. So we can have that nice title, navigation stack and then reset password view. Okay, on the reset password view, I'm going to have, uh, uh, I'm going to need to have a text field and then uh, basically a button to just send that reset password email because that's how we are going to do that. We are going to provide our email and we are going to uh, send an email to that, uh, 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 you know, email uh, with uh, email address to uh, 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 a link where they can just change their password or you know just reset it so let's just have again a form I just have a form why not a form and then we are going to have a navigation title of uh, a reset password and then let's just have that button uh, action and label a reset or send rather send reset password email Okay, that's our function. Okay, and then let's just have a text over here and re send reset email. That's fine. Uh, before that, we also want to collect the, their email. So let's have a text field uh, of email and the text. Well, we just need to store it right over here. Let's state private of our email. And then instead of the constant, we are just going to bind it to that email. Okay, and uh, then we just, uh, let me just grab our environment. There we go. And paste it in there. Of course, we do need to import Firebase sign in with email and password. And then right over here, we just say Firebase sign in with email and password dot. And uh, uh, yeah, send reset password email. This is the simplest one. This is going to use the one that is already known by the framework. Now you could just use this when you are already signed in. So we have a user available to uh, the app. Uh, this is basically when you have already logged in and then you just want to change. In this case, we don't have that. We are not logged in. We don't know what the user is. So we are going to use this other one and then uh, to email. Okay, so we just basically provide our email. And let's just see, uh, this is an asynchronous function. So let's just have a task and then put that await right over there. Okay, that should fix it. Great. And uh, after that, after uh, this completes, uh, we just basically want to dismiss this one. And then for that, I'm just going to grab the environment 
of dot dismiss private var dismiss and then this miss okay so let's build and run and let's see let's see if this actually works here we go uh, let's just go to our profile oh oh we do need to sign out that's okay signing out and now we have this forgot password let's click on it and then uh, reset password we want to provide our email okay and then send reset email and it just sent it and we are dismissing it and we should get an email and indeed here it is uh, yeah go ahead and test it out on your uh, on you know when you are actually going to do this you are going to have that and then i'm just going to tap on this link right over here and then uh, reset your password the new password uh, i'm just going to have set up a new password let's just say this one and save it and it says you can now sign in with your new password let's just try it out i know you can't actually see this but i'm just going to test it out okay this is my uh, new changed password and let's click on authenticate and indeed it did log me in uh, what i'm going to do is yeah I'm going to change it back because this is something you know, I always have the same, you know, for these tutorials. So I'm not going to change it back. And I'm going to do that right over here on the profile. Let's say I just want to change, change it. So uh, let's go to my profile view and let's add that uh, button from the old view. So I'm going to copy this out and uh, paste it. Well, it could be right over here and then the same thing so uh, reset password and they just have that right over there and then uh, where is uh, the state variable right over here copying it out pasting it in there and then our sheet under the profile view on the form right over there so everything should work right now uh, let's uh, build and run build has succeeded really nice and then we have this forgot password uh, button it just pops up the reset password view let's just add in the there we go and then send the reset email nice let me just check over here and indeed i do get it again and then what do we want to do let's just wait for it to load click on the link again it's going to be a long link and then let's add a new password and that is okay we just changed our password which is really nice let's sign out and let me just try to log in with this new password this is the new password so let's click on authenticate and indeed it worked now this is how easy it is to just sign out and change your user's password if they are signed in with email and password now if you like these types of tutorials go ahead and also check out my mentoring sessions the link is down in the description